What's the difference between you sitting across the desk and having a conversation with someone or you having a conversation with them through a camera lens? And perhaps more importantly, what's the difference between being in a video conference or a Zoom conference with a small group of people and you being on YouTube? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And the difference really boils down to experience. But we forget that once we get used to being on camera. So whether we're inviting somebody to come as a guest to video socials or whether we're inviting someone to be on a video podcast or a video interview style podcast, we often don't remember that maybe they don't have the experience and the confidence that comes with that experience when we're inviting them. So they may not even want to admit it even to themselves, that so if you're asking somebody, again, to come as a guest to anything having to do with video, if they don't have experience, they may not even say that. They may come up with any number of other reasons why they may not be able to participate, or you may find them rescheduling or kind of putting off, etc. I say this because as we are growing our client base and the people that we're working with through our video, video interview podcast services. And as I'm seeing so many people say that, you know, I've invited so many people to video socials and it's just only a few that I've managed to actually come get through the door and, and actually come visit us. Keep in mind, this is, this is whether it be an obvious objection or a concern or whether it be something that they may not even admit to you, and possibly not even to themselves, they're not necessarily comfortable with the concept or idea of, I'm going to be out there on YouTube. I'm going to be out there in this global environment where I'm on display. So really, if you can help them understand that it's just a matter of experience. The first time you st stood up in front of two or three people and introduced yourself, the first time that you went to a networking event and introduced yourself to a stranger, those were all uncomfortable. The first time you got in front of an audience, whether that be audience of five or, or 500, there's nervousness, there's anxiety that comes along with that. So talk to them about it. You know, if, if this isn't something you've had a lot of experience with, maybe come to video socials as a guest. I'll be there with you as an example. Come come to my meeting. Or if you've invited somebody to come as a guest to your podcast as an example, perhaps again have them come to video socials or at least get on to a video conference with them so that they can get a sense of what it's like to have a conversation with you across the camera. So again, let them kind of put the toe in the water let them know that many people have these types of concerns, anxiety around being on camera. And if you can help them in any way to overcome that and realize that it that nervousness goes away with experience of actually doing it and allowing themselves to be themselves on camera. If you found this valuable, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. And if you'd like to come as a guest at Video Socials, we'd love to have you just click on the guest button at the top of the screen. We'd love to meet you there. Again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and of videointerviewpodcast.com. Have a great day.